WMC Intercontinental title. Listen, obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves, come out the bell. Good luck to both of you. Very excited for this fight. Uh, you know, I watched several of Liam's fights getting ready for the show here, and you know, he can start a little slow and be a little passive here, and that's lost him fights in the past. So I'm wondering if he's gonna, you know, well, it's that it's that Thai style, right? You know, you give, you know, you feel out the first round. You know, you, you really you don't start scoring until the third round and the fourth round, and then the fifth round, whoever's winning is supposed to just coast. So that doesn't play well. But again, he's a southpaw. We got another southpaw orthodox matchup. We'll see how this goes. Both fighters taking the center of the ring and, uh, and just feeling each other out. Both of these fighters have the capability to end this fight very quickly. Which makes it very interesting. You can feel the intensity in the room. Both men very poised, again, just kind of feeling each other out right now, that feel-out process. Another head kick. Liam likes to throw that no-fake head kick. Just kind of sneaks it up there. Ninja Kawani comes back with his own jab high kick. Looks like Liam's going to take the center of the ring, and Ninja Kawani's going to use the outside and kind of move. It's kind of been uh, Anthony's uh, Anthony's way of, of fighting recently uh, in the UFC, looking for looking for shots, uh, backing up. Uh, clearly, clearly a groin shot yeah, there. Low blow, pretty good one too. You can see Ninja Kwani instantly grimacing in pain here. Oh, he might take a couple minutes for that one. That sounded like it was a His corner imploring him to take as much time as he needs the whole five if, if necessary but you know some guys can i've seen some guys get kicked in the groin and they're right back to it they don't even want a break and some guys like to take a longer break but absolutely this, this early in a fight no one needs a break so no it's no, really, no. really no, about he's, it was a clean shot to the groin he yeah needs how to, long it takes to get ready yeah he needs to take that yeah, he looks like he's still feeling the wares of that groin shot. Well, the problem is it sits with you a little bit longer in the stomach. And, you know, so you come out and you think you're okay. Then you touch gloves and all of a sudden, you know, you're it like your body you. doesn't feel right. Yeah. So, you know, taking a little extra time is definitely the intelligent move. This is an important fight, an important yeah. opportunity. You don't want to rush in there uh, and be at a disadvantage because you took uh, too short a time to recover from a, a, a tough groin shot. Okay, boys are back in the middle here. Touch gloves. Looks like Ninja Kawani's recovered from that groin shot. Liam with that hard outside kicking, you know, from the southpaw position. Really making Ninja Kawani respect it. Catches the kick. Fires back. Very sharp. Very sharp. Yeah, and I saw that Liam loves to catch the kicks. I saw he, he catches a lot of uh, round kicks, push yeah. kicks. He had trouble countering off of them in his previous fights, but it looks like he's... Uh, He's learned to really just catch and, and throw. Yeah, abs absolutely. The Muay Thai scene in the UK is, is further developed than here in the United States. So even though maybe his, bat, his previous fights have been K1 centric, uh, training in the UK is going to have a strong Muay Thai foundation. Yeah, and you can see it start to shine through here with his composure and his, even his high stance. Hands up high, looking to... Ooh, take advantage of kicks to the body. Anthony has just set those kicks up with his hands. He's making it too easy for the kick catch to happen. If he throws some hands before he throws the body kick, then he will have to be defending. He'll be less likely to catch it. Yeah, you see, you see him start to uh, pump, pump fake a little bit before the kick here, throw some feints. Looks like the both boys are smiling in there. They're having a good time in this WMC title fight right now, I tell you Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Oh, head kick from Ninja Kawani, blocked. Liam looking poised to return. Ten seconds left in the very first round. Been a good round, a, a kind of a feel-out round beginning, but, I mean, you could see the high level of skill from both these fighters here tonight. Absolutely. Very technical round. Uh, absolutely a feel-out round. Um, I, I like... Yeah, tough round to judge. Uh, tough round to judge. I like Liam's aggressiveness. Obviously, I feel like Anthony's very, very crafty. Um, if I'm going to give that round to somebody, I'm going to give that round to Liam. 
Now just because of the, the, the forward pressure? Because of the forward pressure, because Anthony is backing up, but he's not doing enough with it. Again, Anthony's tricky. Anthony is, uh, is looking for the counter, but he's not active enough right now. And he's got a young fighter who has taken the center of the ring and who's throwing things very quickly at him. So how is Anthony gonna respond in round two? If stylistically he stays back this round and lets Liam open up, then he's gonna lose the next round as well. Knowing the judges the way that I know the judges right now and who's judging this fight, if he's backing up and not scoring, he's losing rounds. So if he's gonna continue to back up, he's gotta make some big scores with his yes, counter strike. Yes, absolutely. Well, let's see what happens here. Look like Liam, like you said, you know, took the, the center of the ring, really pushing Ninja Kwani back to the ropes and landing effective kicks to the body. Ninja Kwani looking for his shots, but still, still trying to figure out the puzzle in front of him. And, and Liam is proposing. Okay, let's see how. There you go. A Anthony needs to find that rhythm, yeah, that in and that out. Score is a little more active now. You can be defensively minded and still score. Looks like he's starting to put things together a little bit more, being a little bit more aggressive with it. First clinch action of the fight here in the second round. Yeah, a Anthony is, uh, is definitely defensively clinching, shutting down the elbows. So he's thinking more about stopping Liam's elbows than throwing his own, which is smart if he hasn't been playing the elbow game in a while. He has great elbows. It's just about finding that rhythm and that distance. Mm. Switch high kick from Nolan. Liam Nolan really stalking, really pushing forward this fight. You can tell he wants this. Ooh. Catches the kick, throws, tries to counter, but it gets a little awkward. I'm not sure what happened here. Ninja another Kwani, groin, another, another groin. groin shot, it looked like Ninja Kwani. Well, and again, it happens a lot, Southpaw Orthodox. The clash there. Letting himself get backed up into the ropes a little bit here. He's definitely more active this round, but he needs to let his hands go a little bit. Set up his kicks. He's got great kicks, but he's throwing blind kicks without hands, so it's easy to catch, easy to defend. He seems a little hesitant with his hands here today, Coach. Absolutely. And maybe it's that body kick, you know, you know that, that, that south from the southpaw that's making him respect it. So he's not throwing that right hand as much as you think he would be. I, I think he's looking for uh, shots that are going to do something versus scoring points right putting, now. Putting together combinations and scoring. Yeah. Yeah. Again, turns uh, Nolan to the ropes, but it looks like it's just to kind of get a break here, not to do work, but tie up Nolan in the clinch. No, his clinch is absolutely defensive right now, and he hasn't taken any elbows or any damage, so it, it's doing its job, but he's not using it as an opportunity to score. Score points, right. But clearly for somebody who's, you know, most recent Ooh, career, big, big elbow. elbow. from from Nolan there. Who's followed up by two, three knees, four knees to the body of Ninja Kawani. Absolutely. So again, as I was saying, it, it, your focus not being Muay Thai, you're not clinching every day. So the clinch is an art form that if you're not practicing that skill daily, you're going to have issues with it. 10 seconds in the round here. And we're seeing that with Anthony right now. He is not as strong in the clinch as he once was. And, that, and then that's kind of being a, you know, an issue for him. Right now He's it not is. winning the outside game. And if he's not effectively clinching, then it's going to be tough to score points in this fight here. Absolutely. Okay, so, you know, is that what you're telling him right now? To what, I'm, what I'm telling him right now uh, seems to be something going on as far as who's what and who's going where. What I'm telling him right now is to calm down and breathe. I'm reminding him, uh, you know, that he's Anthony uh, and he's a world-class fighter and that he needs to start scoring more points. If he's going to defensively clinch, he needs to get to the defensive position quickly and then let his knees go. He can't just not score there because the elbows are going to start coming like we saw in the last round. He's not, yeah, it looks like Nolan's not really worried about anything in the clinch, so he's opening up his own attack. Exactly. Now, as far as Nolan is concerned, it seems like he's doing good in this fight. If you're his coach, what are you telling him to do? Keep that pressure going. I'm telling him that Anthony is an older fighter. You're going to break him. He's starting to expose him. I'm building up his confidence. You have to respect Anthony. 
But this is clearly uh, a fight that I think that uh, Liam is uh, is, is driving in yeah. right now. All right, let's take you round three, guys. The WMC Intercontinental Title. Anthony Ninjakawani versus Liam Nolam at 160 pounds here at the inaugural triumphant Muay Thai series here in Santa Rosa at the Great Resort and Casino. It's been a great night of action, folks, and it's continuing here in our main event. Anthony Ninjakawani, former UFC WEC Lion Fighter, fighting Liam Nolam, IKF British Rules Champion, coming across the pond to fight for this WMC title tonight. Joined again by Coach Kieran Fitzgibbons. It's been a great night and it's continuing. Let's see if Ninja Kawani can figure out how to kind of stop the forward momentum of Liam Nolan. You can feel an intensity ratchet up here in this third round. Both fighters really kind of feeling the importance, knowing that these rounds are extremely important to win. Absolutely. These are the, this is where the fight turns. It either continues to go in Liam's direction or Anthony starts to pull it out. I like Anthony's activity right now. Uh, Liam is very composed, though. I don't see a lot of cracks defensively from Liam I was right going to ask you, I mean, is there anything he could do better? He seems like he's holding a great defensive posture. He's not overcommitting too much. No, he's fighting a very, very intelligent and clean fight right now. And I think that uh, uh, Anthony probably was hoping uh, that he was going to get a young fighter that he could break. Uh, and I'm not seeing that right now. I'm Anthony, not seeing that either. A Anthony can end a fight in any moment. Anthony is explosive and powerful. Uh, and that's the last thing to go in a fighter is their power and their explosivity. Uh, but right now, I just the timing and the rhythm, uh, I, I just don't see him fighting at his potential the way he did when he was purely a Muay Thai Muay fighter. Muay Thai fighter, yeah. But you know, he is starting to score more, throwing Absolutely. that right hand to the body, maybe instead of uh, uh, focusing upstairs, going downstairs to the leg and the body. And now, finding some, su some success upstairs. Absolutely. Liam is, uh, is, is taking his foot off of the gas right now, and I don't know if that's a tactical choice or if Anthony's pressure is giving him problems. Oh, now they're really starting to stand and exchange multiple punches. Oh, that's cross from Injikwani and to the body. Now as, the flying knee. As discussed in the last round, it's Anthony's hands that are going to keep him in this fight. He has got to throw them. He has to be careful with that cross of the body. If he does that again, he's going to eat an elbow. He has to come back to the head after he throws that cross. Yeah, he's, he's, he's gone to it a several times already in the round, and I'm sure Nolan is, is, is starting to catch a bead on it. Ten seconds, but third round. I'm going like to give this round right now to Anthony. I, you know, I was going to ask you, Coach, uh, if he did enough, and I think, yes. I think he definitely did. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Absolutely. Absolutely did enough. And the key is his hands, his boxing, his reach, his length. That is going to give... Liam problems. Is it too little too late? I don't know. That's the third round. I have Liam up two to one, but clearly that round was Anthony's and it was the boxing that did it. Now, here's a question for you. Uh, knowing it's a five round fight, do you think Ninja Kwani maybe was, I don't know, saving some energy, knowing he's an older fighter, kind of saying, I'm going to take the first round and, and maybe a little bit of the second and then turn it on the last three rounds? I don't, I don't know. I know that he took this fight uh, short notice. Uh, one of my fighters, uh, Kai Hollenbeck, was uh, being courted for this fight, but his knee's not 100% yet. So I know he took this short notice. So I don't know if maybe he was trying to gauge himself a little bit. Uh, if he can keep doing what he did in the third round, it'll, it'll, he can it'll take be his a three good to fight. Two. Absolutely. Yeah, but he needs to keep going. So how does Liam react now? Does Liam continue to fight off of the back foot or does he put pressure? Ninja Kawani using that movement. Let's see if he continues to use the hand combinations that were getting him success early. In Just the threatening with the hands has Liam backing up. The, the he, feints are starting to he needs cause to, effect. He needs to do something with it though. You can't threaten and then not act or else the fighter is going to continue to bite on it another groin shot it looks like uh, bam's not stopping the action but letting uh, ninja Kwani adjust his his cup there 
Oi! Right to the face. Beautiful kick. Right up the middle there. Right down the pipe. Hitting Nolan, rocking his head back. Looks like it kind of woke Nolan up a little, like he's trying to get it back right now. Absolutely. But uh, Ninja Kiwani using that defensive clinch again. Uh, and it kind of that MMA experience, you know, helps these guys whenever they get in a, a bad position on the ropes, they just push their guy up and kind of wait for that break there. There it is with the boxing. That's gonna what that's gonna do it for him if he can continue to do it. Oh, good, good cross by Ninja Kiwani. No. Liam Nolan showing some some wear, some blood starting to leak from that bottom lip there. Ninja Kwani seems to be getting stronger as Exactly. It's on. the boxing. It's the boxing that's going to do it for him. He needs to watch out for the elbow work, but the boxing is getting him back into this fight. It really is, Coach. It really is. And it looks like it's giving him energy as well. Landing these shots is giving him energy. He has to be careful not to lunge in with his head or he'll get cut. Those elbows are always a danger. But the Brit doesn't look to be quick to throw elbows. So I think that uh, uh, that Anthony can take advantage there. Both these guys starting to show the wear of the fight. But you can see them start to bite down and really dig. Oh, Ninja Kwani again to the body and then overhand. Getting to that clinch again, kind of a defensive clinch. Not looking to do work here, but just reset by, by Bam Bam Stell, the ref here. Absolutely, but he is working knees in the clinch instead of just giving up defensive. As position. you mentioned in the prior round, he, he needs to do that whenever he gets into that clinch. Ooh, a good knee from uh, Nolan there. That's because Anthony's leading with his head. He just needs to keep working with his boxing just like that off of the clinch. Nice. Ninja Kwani really taking the tide of this fight back in the last two rounds, I think. Absolutely. I give this round to Anthony as well. This has been a great round for Anthony. And then thus making it a great fight, being a 2-2 fight in my book, it looking like uh, Liam comes out early, takes the first two rounds by aggression, Absolutely. and Ninja Kwani puts the puzzle together and starts to really land in the third and continue it in the fourth. Absolutely. All right, coach, championship round, fifth round. Absolutely. Seems like it's a tie ball game here. Everybody having fun in the crowd? It looks like everybody's having fun in the crowd. Uh, those happen to be CSA ladies having fun in the crowd. Uh, there, speaking of Eddie Abasolo, uh, yes. there's the man himself right there looking fresh to death, as always. Yes. I have it 2-2. I have it 2-2 going into this fifth round. Anthony needs to keep boxing, and Liam needs to go back to his uh, aggressive body kicking. Yeah, that body kicking was really, you know, hindering the boxing of Ninja Kwani early. Absolutely. He got away from it, started catching a lot of punches. Who wants this fight more? Yeah, and this is where we're at right now. Fifth round, WMC Intercontinental Championship. Coach and I both have it all tied up 2-2. 37-year-old Anthony Ninja Kwani trying to add one more accolade to his decorated fight career. Liam Nolan, a young up-and-comer, been thinking about this title since he was just a teen. Here's his chance. Round five. Oh, big over-the-top elbow. Looks like Liam is ready to run forward and get that clinch. And Liam's ready to run forward and take a head with him if he can. There's that body kick you were talking about there. He's not going to win this kick for kick battle. He needs to get back to boxing. That's where he's winning this fight. You box the kicker and you kick the boxer. You, we, we, we talked about in the previous fight now, and you're seeing how it plays out to a T here. You've got to be able to, oh, looks like Nolan is, 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 is winning these exchanges with length to start this fifth and final round. Brandon Kyle here with Kieran Fitzgibbons. We've had a great night of fights and it's continuing here at the final round, the fifth round for this WMC World Intercontinental title. You can see both these guys are feeling the effects of this fight, but they are just continuing to drive forward and continuing to throw. We had 
Liam taking both. Another knee to the ground. Oh, how unfortunate. It, it was getting pretty, pretty ugly there in the clinch, and another knee landed, and it looks like this one really has hurt Ninja Kawani. He's taken three or four of those knees at this point in the fight, and like you said, that Southpaw Orthodox, that does happen. Um, and these boys are really putting it all on the line right now. So, looks like... Dan the referee Dan Stell's warning him. I don't believe he's going to take a point, nor do I believe he should. I don't believe there's anything intentional there. It's the Southpaw Orthodox mix. He will lose a point if he does it again, does and that'll again. probably cost him the fight. So. If I were Anthony, I would take all the time in the world. This is the last two minutes, be, a minute and a half. Got be get smart. Here I we would, go, guys. I'd have preferred to see him take longer, honestly. Ninja Kwani ready to get out there. Oh, there's those body kicks you were talking about, Coach. Nolan going back to his bread and Absolutely. butter from the early rounds. And Ninja Kwani thinking about those hands a little there bit. There it more, is. But there it is. Ninja Kwani back with the hands. These two are scoring back and forth. Who can usurp their will? Who can implement the plan? Who's going to score, the boxer or the kicker? The young lion or the old guard? Who's going to take this WMC 160-pound title at the inaugural triumphant Muay Thai Series 1? Here it is, folks. We're down to the wire, guys. Short time here. Each fighter looking to score as much as they can. Ninja Kawani pushing Nolan to the ropes, but Nolan taking elbows, taking these. Finally an elbow from Ninja Kawani. Ninja Kawani keeping Nolan in the corner saying, I'm going to take this right now, but Nolan scoring good points. Ten seconds left. This WMC Intercontinental title fight's coming down to the wire, folks. Who's going to take it? Time. What a Woo. fight, coach. What a main wow, event. Wow, that's a tough one to score. That's a tough one to Seven score. Round, are they scoring it for the kicker or are they scoring it for the boxer? That's a tough one to score. Now, traditionally, in a Muay Thai full roost fight, the, the kicks should be way if this, more if than this, the punches. If this fight is happening underneath a Thai body with Thai regulation in a Thai country, there's a strong probability that Liam pulled that out with the body kicks. But this is happening in America with American judges. Uh, I don't know who's going to get this decision. Uh, this is a tough fight. I clearly have it. Two rounds for Liam, two rounds for Anthony. That last round literally is about how you score the fight. Are kicks more important or is boxing more important? Because in my opinion, that fight, whether you score it kicking or boxing, is two rounds to two going into the last round. Who takes it based on what the judges preferred? Now, if you're a judge in this fight, Coach. I hate to put you in this, it's a tough position, but you're rep, you know, you're judging this fight. It's 2-2, two -two, that fifth round. Who are you giving the edge to? Uh, I'm going to give the edge to Liam. You're going to say he takes it with the kicks? I'm going to give it to Liam because I think that he did more work with the kicks in that last round than Anthony did with his punches. Uh, I'm not going to be upset if Anthony wins this title. Uh, I can tell you that neither corner is going to be happy with the decision. I can tell you that Anthony's corner believes he won, and I can tell you that Liam's corner believes he's won. Uh, this is a close fight to score, and it's all going to come down to that fifth and final round, in my opinion. I'm going to join our ring announcer, Wayne Wilson, to interview the winner of this WMC Intercontinental title fight. It's been a barn burner, folks. Every fight on this triumphant one Muay Thai series has been a barn burner. What an inaugural event. Let's see who's going to take home that intercontinental strap tonight. Let's hear it one more time for both of these warriors in the ring. One more time for Anthony and Dopane.
one more time for Liam Nolan. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after five exciting rounds of action, we now go to the scorecards. Judge number one scores this bout 48-47 in favor of the blue corner, Nolan. Judge number two scores this bout 48-47, favor of the red corner, Enzo Pwane. And judge number three scores this bout 49-46, your winner and World Muay Thai Council Intercontinental Champion, out of the blue corner, Liam Nolan! I think that's the right decision. I think that is the right decision in this fight for a WMC title. I believe that's a good decision. Let me see you, my man. You too. Thank you, Brandon. Brandon Powell, one more time. 